That was goal number one upon coming to Nebraska. Like whatever our process is, how we do things, I've got to teach it because there's, there's a couple stages here. The players are going to, they're going to learn our process. They're going to learn what we do. They're going to learn why we do it. And then we want them to start to take the next step and, and live it out. Instead of me saying, hey, we show up early, we carry a jug, we take notes in every meeting. Like, if you come to a meeting at the University of Nebraska and you start talking and every kid does not have a pen out, I'll be embarrassed. Every revolution started with a pen. Our guys are going to have a pen. They're going to be taking notes. They're going to be paying attention in every single meeting where I have failed. So I'm going to teach them that, and our coaches are going to teach them that, and then they're going to start to live it out. And they're going to start to do it. And they're going to start doing like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to buy in, right? And then buy in becomes belief. See, Coop, my DB coach, and Terrence, and RJ, who played for me at Baylor, and Garrett, and all these guys, they believe in our process. The kids that I'm, I'm hiring, or, or, or excuse me, that, that are, that are get coached by me now, or the coaches that I'm, I'm hiring, they, they're bought into it. And buy in, man, it's like you go to the poker table, man. Like, you're putting your money in, and you hope, you hope you get it back. Our guys are trying to buy in right now. They're trying to buy into, oh, hey, coach wants us to do this, and coach wants us to do that, and I've never had to do that before, and it, it feels crazy, and they're not sure if they're going to get anything back. There's a lot of faith, and I appreciate that from them. But we've got to get to the point where we go from learning it and kind of buying in to where we believe in it, where we live it out and we start to see it work. We start to see ourselves have a little bit of success. We start to see the highest GPA in school history. We start to see ourselves competing in games. It's no longer like, oh, no, we lost another game in the fourth quarter. We, we, we put someone away in the fourth quarter. We embarrass somebody in the fourth quarter with our physicality and intentionality and effort. And then they go from kind of living and buying into it to now they believe and now they'll defend it. Like, I want our guys to defend our process. I want, and, and leadership's different nowadays, there's not a lot of the old captain leader anymore, guys. They like to diffuse the leadership and kind of, hey, you, all the seniors will kind of do it together. They like to lead through performance. But every once in a while, you, you build a team and they all come together and they say to themselves like, hey, I, we run to the ball here. It's what we do. We literally, guys, have to teach our players how to talk to each other because they're so uncomfortable doing it anymore. Coach, how do, I, how do I call him out? Coach, how do I tell him? It's real simple for me. Just say, you know what? Well, that's not what we do. I want you to believe in our process, our details, the way that we do every single thing so much that when you see one of your brothers not doing it, it's offensive to you. It hurts you. It, it upsets you. That's my job. And I, again, going back to saying that as a leader, being the one in the front, as a leader, being willing to like hold people accountable, that process, man, I've got to teach it, but I've got to lead. I've got to do it. I've got to hold people accountable to it. Number two, we've got to teach the what, the how, and the why. And, and the way I'll say it, and I, I really learned this at my, at my time in 